Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna be unboxing the all new Revolution Cooking R180 Connect Smart Toaster. I have the old version of this and I use it just about every day, so it'll be really interesting to see how this one's different. So you ready? Let's get into this. Well, here's the box for the new toaster and right off the bat, you can see several things that are different about this versus the last generation version. Evidently, this is the world's only connected toaster. And that means that it has Wi-Fi, so it can do some special stuff. You can get live weather, it can set your clock automatically, and I guess it gets feature updates, so we'll have to look into that a little bit more. Revolution toasters have a patented technology called InstaGlow built into them, and basically what that is, is when you turn the toaster on, it's almost instantaneously hot. You don't have to wait for coils to warm up or anything like that. So typically, toasting takes a lot less time with these. Okay, around the back of the box, we've got a death warning on the back. So just so you know, if you're in the habit of eating button cell batteries, or any batteries for that matter, then you're probably not gonna be long in this world. I don't think that's the toaster's fault. I feel like that's a matter of natural selection. Survival of the fittest, right? All right, let's get this bad boy open. Faster, smarter, and tastier? <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Okay, opening this box. First thing we see is the user manual with a little card in it. Another warning about eating batteries. What the hell? Has this become some sort of habit for people or something? I don't know, but the fact that this is in the box means it evidently is. Okay, then we have our manual. This is pretty thick, actually, for a toaster. It's really high quality paper here. You know, it's that kind of paper that makes you feel like you're flipping a whole bunch of pages at once and you're not, and you just sit there trying to separate pages for five minutes until you realize that you're just wasting your time, kind of like how I'm just wasting your time right now doing this. Anyway, these are a bunch of safety instructions for the use of this toaster. The fact that there's 29 different steps in this, that tells me that the human race is probably not long in this world. There's some cleaning instructions here, but if it's like the last one, there's not really a whole lot to clean. Little information about using the toaster and the stuff that shows up on the touchscreen. And then this transfers into French. So the book's not that thick, it's just two different languages in here. Anyway, I'll probably never open this book again. Moving right along, I can actually see the toaster now. Let's get this out of the box. Okay, we're almost there, folks. Well, they definitely packed this thing nicely. Oh, this looks a little bit different than my old toaster. My other Revolution toaster's got a stainless steel finish. This has kind of a matte black and a little chrome finish to it. And you know what, this is, this is pretty sexy looking. They've got this little thing stuck into the top of your toaster to remind you to activate your warranty. You can see there's no switches or buttons or anything on this toaster, it's just like the other one. If you press right here, this is the crumb tray. And if you press it, it releases it. And then you can take out the crumb tray just like that. And then you can stick it back in here and click it in there and it'll snap back into place again. It handles two standard size pieces of bread. And if we look on the bottom here, it is 1440 watts. So pumps out quite a bit of power. Let's plug this in and see if it works. That would be a real bummer if it didn't, wouldn't it? I'm gonna keep the brightness turned down a whole bunch on my camera here just so you can actually see this because it's got a really bright screen on it. Okay, here's a little information about the InstaGlow technology that I was talking to you about before. This is telling you about connecting the Wi-Fi and software updates. And then we're back to the registration again. Since that's on the screen right here, I figure they probably could have saved a little bit of money by just, I don't know, not packing a bunch of paper in there, but who am I? Okay, here is the main toasting screen, and since I've used one of these before, I can show you what all this stuff does right away. The first thing you do is choose what type of bread you're gonna be toasting. So you've got regular bread, you've got bagels, you've got Pop-Tarts, you've got waffles, English muffins, and then we're back to bread again. So not tons and tons of choices. You can either use fresh versions of your bread, frozen, or you can even be doing a reheat. If you turn on the toasty press mode down here, 
Then it adds a new option for the toasty press. This doesn't come with your toaster, it's an optional accessory, but I do have one, and this is what that looks like. Basically the way this works is you open it up, load in your sandwich, and then you press it down with this thing and then lock it back in. So it's basically a panini press. And then that would just load into the top of the machine, just like that, and you would use this toasty press button. Pretty simple. Okay, let's see what other options this thing has in it. So if we go up to the gear here, that's where our options are. You got our volume. You can either go low, mid, or high. You can set the brightness controls. This is set all the way up, but I could turn that down like that. That makes it a little bit easier for you to see on the camera, so I guess I could turn my brightness back up, right? Okay, we'll turn on the Wi-Fi, and let's see if any of them pop up. Ah, there we go. And after I put that in, you can see it says that it is connected right here. Um, let's do an analog clock because I like the analog clocks. And now I'll auto set it and see if it picks up. And 2.05 a.m., huh? It's 11.03 p.m. So maybe it doesn't have my location. Let's take a look here. Boston. Well, we're not in Boston. Let's see if it auto detects us. Uh, not in California either. Let's see if it has my actual city. I'm just down the road from Las Vegas, so we'll pick that one. It is, in fact, the correct time now, so that's good. Let's check out the weather. Let's see. Tuesday, June 18th, correct. It's 82 degrees, partly cloudy, high of 91, low of 69. All right, let's see what else we got down here. Hey, registration again. And down here, there's software and updates, huh? Your software is up to date. So no software updates. What do you say we test a couple of things out on this? I don't have a ton in the house to test, but we'll make do. All right, first we're gonna test a little bit of sourdough bread and we'll see how long this takes. I'm gonna use one end piece like that and then one regular piece like this. You can see that this thing is huge and it's not gonna fit in the toaster. So I'm gonna have to cut this in half. That's one of the things that bummed me out about their last gen toaster. So I was kind of hoping with an update they were gonna add support for larger pieces of bread. Maybe that's something that they're gonna do in the future. And maybe if they're watching this video, they might take that to heart. You can see here if you're on the fresh setting, there's settings down here for the intensity from one all the way up to seven. And you can see as I change that, it makes the little picture of the bread more and more dark. See like right there you got some nice bread and right here you got some annihilated bread. Hopefully it don't look like that. Um, we're gonna put it on four and go. If you look at the screen here, you can see this ring forming. That just acts as a clock to tell you how far along the bread is. You can see that right here, these dots are darker. As this goes around, it'll fill in all these dots. And once it gets to the last one, then obviously your bread is done. And hopefully it looks like that. Hey, by the way, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn some cool new recipes, get some great cooking tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. Okay, our bread's done. Let's see how these look. First, we'll get the regular piece. And at level four, it doesn't look like much on the camera, but this is nice and crunchy. So I'd call that a four, it's pretty good. It's not as dark as on the picture, but that's okay, because this is about how I like toast. The end piece, you could probably see the marks a little bit better on this, and that's pretty good. Let's try one other kind of bread. This thing doesn't have tons of options here for different kinds of bread, so I'm assuming bread is just bread. So we'll go here, and this time, you know what, let's, let's try six, just to see how dark it does get. Why am I not doing seven? Because I'm not a crazy person, that's why. Ooh, this thing is cranking out the heat, boy. They're not messing around. Okay, let's check it out. Well, that definitely looks like the pitcher. It's toasted pretty nice. I mean, it's dark, but it's not burned or anything. How about the other one? Ooh, that looks good too. I guess you're just gonna have to excuse me while I'm eating some toast. 
Well, there's a lot of similarities between this toaster and their last generation version. It's going to be really interesting testing this to find out what exactly the performance upgrades are. Once I've had enough time to properly test it, I'll be back with a full product review. If you'd like a little bit more information about the Revolution Cooking R180 Connect Smart Toaster, I do have an Amazon affiliate link to it down in the description of the video. If you buy anything through those links, I do make a small commission, but it doesn't change the price that you pay one cent. If you like this unboxing video, you might like this one right here where you get to see what came with the last generation version of this toaster. That one was a special bundle, but I think you'll get the idea. Well, that's it for now. I hope to see you back again here really soon. And until that time, I'm Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.